Wow, this Let's Play is really good. Too bad it sucks! Hey guys, it's here. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Last episode, we made it to the door save, which is this. If you didn't notice. Okay, now, obviously, like I've said so many times before, maybe twice. <laughs> Two times, that's a lot. Um, we need all the Xehanort reports to unlock the secret episode. Final episode, I mean. Um... No, we are missing two with Ventus. We're gonna check that out right now. And one of them, um, I already know. I'm just showing. I'm just obviously doesn't have the Mickey in there. Xehanort's letter, Xehanort's report nine, and Xehanort's report twelve. We're missing Xehanort's report one, and Xehanort's report. I'm gonna guess thirteen. I'm not quite sure, but it might be thirteen. Now Xehanort's report one is obtained. Uh, via going to, uh... Satan's Report 1, you have to go to back to deep space and find it in a chest. So we're gonna go do that. And if you're wondering, Xanus Report, whatever the other one we're missing, you get for defeating the final boss of this story. So we'll just get that one when we're finishing the story. But for right now, we're gonna head to deep space. So get to get, um, Xanus Report 1. After I check something else. Let's just check this, cause... Okay, Zero Grav Gun. Now second chance is permanent. Good to, Good. Treasure Magnet's permanent. Magnega's permanent. I mean, <laughs> Defender. Um, now, I was trying to meld something, but I don't quite remember. But I know I could probably make some good things. But instead, let's just go to Deep Space. And pick up Xanon's Report 1. Okay, so we are going to head right into Disney Islands. Disney Islands. Okay. I always want to go there and have the music play. Okay, now I don't know which one would be closer because I think the control room might be closer. Hmm. We'll just see where we end up. Oh no, this is not where I wanted to be. Anyway, then, okay, I believe we head this way. Now, so the, um, Xanus Report 1 is in a chest in the launch bay. I don't know if we've actually been in there. Actually, we have. We were in there briefly, where you switched the... Yeah, this is not where we want to be. I may have gone... Let's just keep going, then. Yeah, we gotta turn on the gravity again. And the fighting stops, too. Because we got out of the range of the enemies. It's in the launch bay, I believe that's what it's called. It's the area where you can also change the gravity to move the crates. And with some characters, they, you know, to help get chests and stuff. Like that one. I have to go up, turn off the gravity, and come back down. Got that last memory key bleed. Okay. And we can fly. Here we are. Launch deck, that's what it's called. Not launch bay, or hub, deck. Now, I won't be able to tell you where it is, because I don't really remember. Wow, that was some lag. Here, there's turrets again. I could guess just flying across, that's where it is. We don't even need to use the zero gravity anymore. Or low gravity. I believe this is it. it has, it's a big chest. This is probably it. Correct, Xanos Report 1, an exit from Xanos Writings. Wow, we got that. Now, while well, we're up here, and we are seemingly safe... Hold on! Did I see what I saw? Yeah. There's a sticker. Let's go grab it, just for the heck of it. Just make sure no one is shooting at you. Change the gravity. Yeah, jump on the box as I head back up. Because I think you want that sticker. Oh, okay, that was that was a cheap shot, buddy. You know it was. Okay, now I have to... And fly right now. Boom. Now we're just gonna head back, I guess. Ah. Okay, now that we have all the Xeno reports, except for Mystery Xeno report that you get from defeating the final boss of um, this story. Good, you don't take fall damage in this game, I just realized. Oh, I went... Oh, no. I fell an extra one. Oh. If they kill me, I swear, man. 
So now we have all the Xehanort reports except for one with Ventus, and we're now um, we can just finish the story to get it because you get it for defeating the final boss of this story. And then we'll have all the Xehanort reports in the game, and we can unlock the final episode. So obviously, what's next? Like I just explained, finishing the game. I'm gonna head back to the world map and head back to the only save in the Keyblade Graveyard. I smell like cheese. Okay. Fissure. Visit this world. Uh huh. No, so let's take a look, just for taking a look's sake. See reports. New. Xanar's report one. So now we're missing is that one more Xanar report would you get for defeating the final boss of this story? I mean, might as well wait, hold on. I always like looking at the characters. Especially the enemies. Which is the other verse right here. I don't know why I'm doing this. You spin them around. Without them attacking your butt. You get to look at them. Some of them look really cool. Okay, now before I leave... I am going to see what I can actually hold on. I can't really think of anything to meld, but let's just look. Okay, meld commands. Obviously, they're giving me something new. Um, I can't think of anything except for. You know, let's just grab, like, Faraga and then see what it can meld with. Maybe it will tell me. There we go. Fission Faraga. Actually, that's a good idea right there. And since, um, Faraga's leveled up all the way, Magic Haste will stay with us. This is cool. Soothing Crystal, why not? And Fission Faraga with Damage Siphon. Good. Actually, that's... Okay, cool. Fission Faraga is a nice move. I don't remember if I showed it in any of the, um, any of my other, uh, stories. Or any of the other, you know, stories. But it's a nice move. I'll show you what it is. I won't equip another one real fast. Another ability. But I believe I have showed it in Terra's story. Um, that was a while back. Go back and look. I mean, if... You you just went back and watched. But, Fire. so it's really nice. Actually, well, I can't, you can't, it's hard to demonstrate. It looks like a normal Faraga when you shoot by yourself. If there were an enemy, it would lock on, hit it, and explode. And that's why it's cool. Fire. If it hits an enemy, it explodes. And does bonus damage. And I believe, actually, there are any enemy, other enemies around. It's actually more like an AoE, which is pretty cool. Let me equip another item, or ability, command, just anything I have leveled up to the max, really. Because, you know, whatever. Just do mind shield, right? Okay. Well, guys, I'd like to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Sorry for the shortness, but in the next episode, we're going to be heading over there, through that, and finishing Ventus' story. Or working on finishing Vince's story. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.